Good evening everyone. Um, as you can see, different background. I couldn't do my video this morning because I got a bit busy. Um, following on yesterday's conversation, we were talking about looking at all of this, not only from a human perspective, but from a religious perspective as well. Because we all live by different rules according to what we believe, and that too affects our understanding, not only by the rules themselves, but by the circumstances in which we were raised. That plays a major part in how we decide to understand things. Now, we spoke about necessary and unnecessary abortions, who decides and why. We know doctors decide, sometimes people decide, depending on which situation you find yourself in. But then there's one situation that I don't think anybody can understand unless they've experienced it firsthand. And that is, what if somebody is pregnant by means of sexual assault or rape? Now, different people have different takes on this. And my question is usually, is your take based on your understanding? Or is your take based on you've actually experienced it? Now, for most men, we could not comment on this even if we wanted to, because we would never have experienced this in our lives. But do we understand what the experience has done for the other person? When it comes to these sort of topics, when you look at it from a religious viewpoint, as a Christian, my basis is love. I love everyone the same. I can't change who people are, but I can love who I know people can be. I can't judge people by the mistakes they make. Nobody in their right mind should do that, yet we do that more often than we'd like to admit. But why is that? Why do we judge people according to what they've done, according to the mistakes they've made? When we dig in your closet, we're going to find many, many skeletons, many mistakes, many things that you have done that you're probably not that proud of, that you don't want thrown back in your face. Now, I'm not talking about making the same mistake over and over and over again, because then you're in a different league. Then most of the time you deserve what you get if you keep making the same mistake. But we cannot judge people. If we do not understand their circumstances, we cannot comment on things if we do not understand their circumstances. Now, as a Christian, we believe that God lets all things work for the good. Now, a lot of people have issues with this because how can it be that something bad would then be justifiable to create something good. How could God let that happen? But again, it's because we are approaching this with a lack of understanding. God is ever-present, but God is not ever-interfering. A lot of what happens on earth is because of people and what they believe and how they grew up and their circumstances. Can we blame them for what they do, depending on how they got there? But we cannot blame God for what people do. I mean, you can't even blame God for what Christians do. Because then we'd have a problem of astronomical proportions. Because people were raised differently, because people are different, you will always have a situation where human nature is what defines a lot of problems. But it's your faith and your belief and that that is what guides you to be better at the life that we live and to understand that other people are trying the same thing. And that is what we need to start looking into, whether you are a believer, whether you are not, whether you, whatever you are. You need to understand both sides of the spectrum. If you're a non-believer, 
understand what a believer is saying from his point of view. If you are a believer, understand what a non-believer is saying from their point of view. Don't write it off and be aggressive and turn it into a fight. Why must it always be a fight? Why can't we just have a conversation about something and learn to understand? Remember, what people do and what people say has got nothing to do with you. It doesn't affect you. Only you affect you. And as we go into tomorrow, we will then look at this. And I will show you how often we overlook the most basic things that causes a lot of our issues. And we are getting close to the end of this. And I hope that you will carry on watching and carry on going through till we can get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Until tomorrow. Bye for now.